posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me, cause baby. Hey Taurus, it's Purple Haze, and I'm back to shine a positive light on your dark days. And I'm here to do a reading for you guys, a general reading, and however the messages may come, it could touch on finances, it could touch on love, however it may go, that's how we'll do it. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, okay? Thank you guys, thank you universe, and thank you ancestors for all that you do, and all that you will do, for every lesson is a blessing. Please continue to shine your positive light on me, as well as the Tauruses. Listening to this particular reading and the cross watchers, y'all too. The nosy people in the back. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Four of Cups. And this is from um, now to mid July. Just so you guys are aware. Four of Cups. We have the Hairpin card in reverse. Hmm. We have the Judgment card. Okay. So, so far, Taurus is saying that. You guys tend to be more focused on yourself. You're not necessarily... For those of you who are single, I feel like a lot of y'all don't mind it. You don't mind the process of being single because it's more peace. It's more at peace. It keeps you at peace. See how she is in this card. Like, she like, listen, this could wait. Um, I'm on my self-love right now. I'm on my meditative mode right now. And then you have the Hereford card here in reverse. It has a lot to do with you not wanting to deal with the same things over and over. Like, for instance, you had a certain tradition or you had a routine on how you dealt with relationships in the past. So that's why you're being very patient. But there could be someone in the loop who's offering you the type of love that you want, but you're basically distracted because you're like, listen, I don't even want to hear the word love right now. And then you have the judgment card here. Try not to be judgmental when it comes to people coming into your life who wants to be into your life not everyone is out to get you Taurus just keep that in mind as well you don't want to come out too judgmental and I know a lot of you don't like to be judged as well which is another reason why you're probably single because you don't like being heavily criticized over things that's you you get what I'm saying sometimes it's not a person's flaws that they're criticizing they could be um, criticizing you as a person and that's not good either. Like, nobody should make you feel bad for being yourself. Okay? The second spread, you have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. The Emperor card in reverse. Yeah. Because of this... Because of this um, isolation that you're doing, this space that you want from individuals, I feel like instead of people understanding you, they're getting offended by it. It's like, instead of them taking it as, Oh, well, I just need time to myself... Mm -hmm. They're taking it as an attack on them. Like, what's wrong with me? Why you don't want to be around me? Why don't you want to be with me? Why you don't want to go here? Why, do, why? Like, why are you isolating yourself from me when in reality you're doing it for you? You have the Emperor card in reverse, the Queen of Swords. I see that it's someone that you're avoiding. Could possibly be an older person or someone who likes to, you know, insert their dominance. Their dominance. Like, you know how some people just have to let it be known that they're in charge. That's what this person is giving and that's what's turning you off. It's like they have this this personality of they know it all when they don't. So this person is trying to give you advice or commenting on the situation that you're going through. And you're like, I don't want to hear that. And the queen of swords, you already have a plan. You are already on the path that you want. Oh, I didn't even see that. This card was flipped over too. You are already on the path that you want to be. Will of Fortune card. You are definitely going down the right road. So no matter what people say, as long as you're... You're okay, Taurus, and that as long as you're doing this for you, then it doesn't really matter how they feel. Some people get offended when all you're trying to do is better yourself, and that says a lot about them. Okay, now let's move on to the Energy Oracle cards. Let's start off with these. Let's get more information on how you're doing as far as um, your financial situation, your career. Let's touch on other things besides this. Get more clarity on this particular reading here, okay? Let's see what else is going on. We have the Seventh Chakra Archangel Uriel in reverse. And then we have the Healer of the Ages in reverse as well. So basically, Taurus, there's a disconnect with someone that's really, really strong to the point where not only it's a disconnect, this person is draining as hell. 
there's someone who's draining you physically emotionally and there's some of you who are also sick as well like literally sick but there's someone who you've recently disconnected with and it had a lot to do with them draining you so bad so it maybe that's why they're offended <laughs> because they know it they know they haven't been their best self they know that they're draining you they know that they're getting on your nerves but they're still taking it as an attack when you just want some space this person drains you that's why you're trying to get away so damn bad okay all right so let's do one more thing and then we're going to move on to you and your person all signs but right now let's um, pull a card and see what's heavy on your heart towards what's something that's been bothering you for the longest and you have trouble communicating about oh wait a minute what is coming from my fault <laughs> what's something that's been on your mind heavy that you're keeping to yourself you don't really talk about it, taurus any more messages you have for taurus in regards to what's heavy on their heart okay i'm gonna pull one from the top okay we have the guardian card here so basically, Taurus, your fear is going down the wrong direction. A lot of the reasons why you're isolating yourself is because you don't really trust your judgment sometimes. I feel like you stay away from people because you see the good in people only for them to show their true colors. So your fear is to be led down the wrong path by someone who you saw potential in. It doesn't have to be a relationship in general. Someone who you thought was genuine, who shows you unconditional love, and they don't. It was all a misunderstanding. Like, you don't want to waste any more of your time, and that's why you do some of the things that you do now. Okay, that wasn't too bad, Taurus. Now let's move on to you and your person all signs. We're going to start off with Taurus and Taurus. Basically, someone who you are involved with, someone who's heavy on your mind, things like that. So, Taurus and Taurus. How do you two feel about one another? Taurus and Taurus. Let me shuffle it one more time. How do you two feel about one another? Ta Ooh, Jesus. Hold up now. I done bent the card up. You have Angel of Strength in reverse. So those of you who are dealing with another Taurus, you feel like this person shows a lot of weak sides. This person doesn't necessarily handle conflict well. And you're disappointed about it because you're like, come on now, how could you be a Taurus like me and you tripping? This person's weakness is communication. This person's weakness is all the things that you need from a person. I feel like they see it as a weakness. They see it, they see it as being vulnerable is a bad thing. Taurus and Gemini. How do you two feel about one another? Taurus and Gemini. Taurus and Gemini. Ooh, there we go. Let me go and get those. What? Oh, you have. It's our several cards that fail. Okay. All right. We have ooh, cornucopia, blossoming abundance in reverse, and then you have the garden and the gate. So, Taurus, you're dealing with the Gemini who they have great potential they have a lot of opportunities coming their way some of you might be dealing with someone who recently got a blessing like a new job um new income something new that they had um this gemini that you're dealing with or vice versa maybe it's you a newfound um abundance that came but it's like someone is getting all the opportunities while the other person isn't so it's two people involved here of course taurus and gemini one of you are receiving a lot of opportunities and the other person isn't but i feel like I feel like the reason why this other person isn't is because they're used to being in a safe place, quote unquote. They don't like to take risks and you do or vice versa. Okay. Pretty interesting. Taurus and Cancer. Oh, my bad y'all. How do you two feel about one another? Taurus and Cancer. Oh, my daughter's phone. Door to personal healing and happiness. And then we have happy family in reverse. So, so Taurus, you're dealing with a Cancer who you just want peace. And I feel like this cancer is not giving it to you. The the family household, the duo that you guys have, have been kind of rocky. But it's not something that's like super chaotic. It's just simply you want peace sometimes. You want to be left alone. You rather deal with situations that brings you peace because you're already going through enough already as it is. Taurus and Leo. How do you two feel about one another? Taurus and Leo. Taurus and Leo. Whoa. Okay. Oh, wow. Got a story here. The sun card in reverse. Taurus, you're dealing with the Leo. Um, you guys are having a very dark or depressing time. It's a sad time right now. has a lot to do with money loss. You guys lost a long, uh, lump sum of money. You have angel of love. I feel like this particular situation might make you guys come out stronger. And I feel like somebody wasn't humble and this situation humbled them. Okay? Um, let's see. Who was that? 
That was Leo, right? Taurus and Virgo. How do you two feel about one another? Taurus and Virgo. Okay. These are just coming out, child. Taurus and Virgo. Taurus, you're dealing with a Virgo who you find it hard to get through to because they're, they're super comfortable in the relationship. They tend to not, they avoid confrontation as much as possible. Even if they feel like there's a misunderstanding, they just, dis, they're very dismissive. Broken heart. Someone here is still suffering from a past situation, a broken heart. And a lot of their actions is due to, due to this broken heart situation. Mm -hmm. um, there's someone here who's also... They were very frugal. They were very cheap. But they've been overspending lately. They deal with their sadness by spending money. Ooh. Yeah, by spending money. Um, okay, that was Virgo. Taurus and Libra. How do you two feel about one another? Taurus and Libra. Caring connections. Taurus, you're dealing with the Libra who feels very connected to you. I feel like... This person might even love you or like you more than you like them or vice versa. But there's a strong connection between you two. You're trying to figure it out mostly, but you guys have a very, very attachment towards one another. Taurus and Scorpio. How do you two feel about one another? Wait a minute. Taurus, you're dealing with the Scorpio who you feel like you guys are more than just on the same page. You connect spiritually. Um, this person gets you in ways that you didn't even think that they could. They understand your emotions and they understand your worth ethic. Oh, okay. Taurus and Sagittarius. How do you two feel about one another? Taurus and Sagittarius. Okay. We have rest and rejuvenation in reverse. Magician and the mirror and the garden and the gate. Um, Taurus, you're dealing with the Sagittarius who is ready to risk it all. <laughs> what I mean by that is... Someone that is very restless because they're determined to get you. They're determined to get you and take risks to do it. They're they're willing to try new things, be more creative. Someone here wants the other person bad and they're willing to take the steps to get that person. Okay. Taurus and Capricorn. How do you two feel about one another? Taurus and Capricorn. Dang. We have man holding a coin blossoming abundance in reverse and then we have goddess of the moon so taurus you're dealing with the capricorn who is about their money the both of you are but it seems like the the more you get the money or this person gets the money the quicker they spend it so it's like the money is in and out in and out so try working on saving um and then the goddess of the moon here you have to work on saving because a lot of your blessings will be blocked if you don't i feel like you guys have the worst ethic but it's just the quicker you get it the more you spend it um Let's see. Taurus and Aquarius. How do you two feel about one another? Taurus and Aquarius. You have attachment and you have the world card. So Taurus, you're dealing with an Aquarius who is super attached to you because I feel like there were a lot of promises made between you two, but it wasn't fulfilled or they're waiting for something. They're waiting for this dream come true. Taurus, a lot of you are dealing with an Aquarius who feel like you're the one. They have a lot of plans for you. That's why they're so attached. But there's a strong attachment between you two. And it has a lot to do with what you guys could be. Taurus and Pisces. How do you two feel about one another? Taurus and Pisces. Taurus and Pisces. These cards are flying. Oh, every last one of them. What is it? Taurus and Pisces. All right. Financial constraint in reverse and yin-yang. So, Taurus, you're dealing with the Pisces who... I feel like the both of you may come off as cheap or it's not necessarily that you're being cheap though that's how other people may see it but you guys are are were strict on saving a lot of money but now i feel like you're in a headspace where you want to spend but there's someone who's kind of like warning you or saying listen they're, they're being your safe space one person wants to spend 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 while the other person is like hold on be easy okay be easy real quick and lastly taurus and aries Taurus and Aries, how do you two feel about one another? Taurus and Aries. We have the Sun card. So Taurus, you're dealing with an Aries who's basically the light of your life. They bring you a lot of joy. This person comes around and cheer you up a lot. If you've had an Aries in the past, one of the great things about them was that they they um they were able to allow you to forget a lot of things. They brought you out of a lot of pain or sadness. Um, they distracted you with a good time. So this person brings you a lot of light in, in your dark situations. Okay. That's what I have for y'all, Taurus. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, all of that. And thank y'all so much for getting me to 1K. I remember Taurus's, um, when I first started, Taurus was one of the videos 
the, with the views. They had a lot of views from day one. So I appreciate y'all for it. Okay, bye. I'm in a place of and pure and free.